34 million people have been forced to the brink of poverty because of soaring food prices. Once again, rising food prices are causing social unrest and political instability in several countries. Food supplies. We have been tracking this story for a few days now, and it is getting quite some attention. Food supplies getting very tight. And on the commodity markets, food prices soaring to levels never before seen. In the next 50 years, global population is expected to double, reaching more than 8.9 billion people. Population growth and improved diets will require at least doubling of the food supply. Given the amount of land currently committed to food production, this cannot yield the amount of food needed by the growing population. Associated with the set increase in population is the incessant occurrence of climate change induced by human activities. In connection to the emerging challenges posed by the rapid growing human population, a need for the implementation and the use of advances in science and technology is inevitable. Being a technology which uses living organisms to make innovative products, biotechnology plays a huge part in improving our everyday lives under the circumstances we're facing nowadays. From the clothes we wear and how we wash them, the food we eat and the sources it comes from, the medicine we take to keep us healthy and even the fuel we use to take us where we need to go. Biotechnology definitely plays an enormous impact in enhancing quality of life and responding to society's grand challenges of undertaking an aging and ever-increasing population, healthcare choice and affordability, climate change and energy shortages. Among the many fields covered by biotechnology, agricultural sector have probably benefited the most from allowing farmers to grow more food on existing farmland while reducing water and fuel consumption, resulting in the enhancement of air, water, soil quality and overall sustainability to the improvement of the ability of livestock to overcome disease and maintain health through the use of improved animal medicines and other methods of disease treatment. Livestock biotechnology provides a solution to the increasing demands for quality and safe milk, meat and other animal byproducts. Recent breakthroughs in biotechnology are the DNA-based or marker-assisted technologies, which are applied in various areas of livestock production, such as animal breeding, which makes use of a genomic selection process that increases the accuracy of selection of young breeding bulls so they can be used with more confidence at an earlier age in the breeding program. Thus, with an increased selection accuracy and shorter generation interval, genetic improvement will be faster. In addition, screening for the genetic defects through DNA technology ensures production of animals with outstanding fertility, performance and productivity. Maintaining health of animals is also made possible through different DNA-based techniques, which include the development of new diagnostic techniques, vaccines and therapeutic drugs. Advancement in animal health technology also offers a great help in measuring disease potential and expanding genomics of diagnostics through recombinant DNA technology, which can be used in detecting animals that carry genes associated with genetic defects and in identifying disease-resistant genes. An equally important livestock biotechnology is the DNA-based traceability of animal products as this provides the consuming public the information on the product origin and production history in order to ensure food hygiene and safety. 
Meanwhile, wide arrays of modern reproduction technologies, including in vitro fertilization and embryo production, oocyte and embryo cryopreservation, intracytoplasmic sperm injection, ultrasound guided ovum pickup, super ovulation, and embryo transfer are known to be valuable in livestock production for maximizing the potential of outstanding females for reproduction. On the other hand, salmon cryopreservation and artificial insemination are technologies that capitalize on superior males for genetic improvement in livestock. In recent interesting development in livestock reproduction is the use of sex-sorted sperm to produce offspring with predetermined sex for dairy. Furthermore, the use of rumen biotechnology and nutrigenomics are key tools for improving animal nutrition and productivity. These techniques can be used to optimize the goods in food production from animal origin, such as meat and milk, through enhanced efficiency in rumen fermentation and genes nutrient utilization while consequently minimizing the bads, such as greenhouse gases emission like ammonia, carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide and methane from enteric fermentation which are contributors to global warming and climate change. Talking about climate change, the imminent danger of loss in animal biodiversity due to environmental stresses and more, which causes their extinction, can be addressed through livestock biotechnology in a process called cryopreservation, which allows animal genetic resources such as semen, oocytes, embryos, cells, tissues, and DNA to be stored in a cryobank for many years under low temperature without affecting viability and future utilization. These are just some of the many significant processes in livestock biotechnology. Innovation and improvement will always be conclusion to a never-ending problem faced by our society nowadays. And as a leading livestock biotechnology institution, the Philippine Carabao Center of the Department of Agriculture is expanding its role in the implementation of the Livestock Biotechnology Program, emphasizing the relevance of livestock biotechnology to the present time. Compounded with a group of well-trained human resource, supporting industries and partner institutions, quality research facilities, well-organized policies, and rigorous information campaign, livestock biotechnology in the Philippines will now be aggressively advancing in creating a healthier, greener, more productive, and sustainable livestock industry, contributing to the national economy and the global competitiveness of the agricultural sector.